everybody and welcome. Today's collar is going to be an adjustable collar. I am going to be using a black biothene adapter. If you're not familiar with um, an adapter and you want to try making one yourself, I will leave a link below for you to follow along with. I um, show you guys how to make the adapter um, if you're interested. So the colors that I'm going to be using for this collar today are I'm going to be using two strands of 550 um, pericord in the turquoise mind bender, and then I'm going to also be using turquoise and Caribbean blue, and they are all 550 pericord. So to start this color, you're going to want to do a double cow's hitch in um, one of your strands of the mind bender turquoise. Now if you're not familiar with how to do a double cow's hitch I will leave a link below for that also. You can use that with um, bracelets as well as collars and uh, there's a few other things that you can use uh, a double cow's hitch with and um, the reason why I don't have it on the video is because I try to keep my videos as short as possible for you guys. Um, so if you want to know how to hook up your double cow's hitch, I, like I said, will leave a link below for you. So the first color that I'm going to be starting off with is um, the Caribbean Blue. Now, you might want to loosen these up just a little bit. And I am using a pericord needle. And what I'm going to do with this cord is I'm going to go right through the double cow's hitches. So, like I said, you can loosen them up. You're going to take your pericord needle, or if you don't have one, that's fine. You can still push it through. Um, it's just a little bit easier with a needle. And you're just going to go right in between those two cow's hitches, just like that. And you're going to pull it through to the other side and to the middle of the cord. So you want the middle at the top here. The next cord that I'm going to be adding is the other um, Mindbender turquoise. And I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to go right in between these two cow's hitches. Just like that. And pull it through to the other side and to the middle. So the last cord that I'm going to be adding is the solid turquoise. And you're going to do something a little bit different. What you want to do with this cord is you have these two middle stitches. You're going to go underneath those just those two middle stitches. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to go in between this first cow's hitch and then go underneath the two stitches and up that second cow's hitch right in the middle just like that. Pull this cord also to the middle Once you have your cords to the middle at the top, you can roll up the ends of your cord. I do suggest since you're working with um, two of the same color, which is going to be the Mindbender Turquoise, I do suggest that you roll up one small on both sides and one larger on both sides. So the two cords that are coming um, what I did was the two cords that are attached to the body of the leash I rolled up small and then the one that I had put through the two cow's hitches I rolled up a little bit larger and that's so I when I'm grabbing them I know which one I'm grabbing at. Alright now that I have all of that taken care of I'm just going to get started on my collar. I'm going to start on my right side and I'm going to be starting with the smaller bundles of the um, mind bender uh, turquoise. So I'm going to take the one on my right and what I want to do is I want to go underneath this first cord right here that is on my right side right up the middle and then over that second cord that is on my left. So I'm just basically just going right up the middle and then over that second cord. 
Next, I'm going to take the cord that is on my left side, the smaller bundle of uh, Mind Bender turquoise, and I'm going to go underneath the cord that I just worked. Then I'm going to go and do the same thing that I did on the right, it's just the mirror image. So I'm going to go underneath this first cord, which is now on my left, right up the middle, and then over the second cord on my right. So I'm just going to go right up the middle again, and then over that cord on my right. And you kind of make a little triangle. Next I'm going to be taking the Caribbean blue on my right side, and I'm going to go over this loop here on my right and the cord that's coming out and I'm going to go around these two and then up through the loop. So I'm basically going around the two cords, the one for the loop and the one that's coming out. I'm going around them and then coming right back up that loop. I'm going to do the same but the mirror image on the right side, sorry, the left side. So I'm going to go over these, this loop and the cord, go around them and then I'm going to come up that loop. just like that. Next I'm going to take the larger bundle of the uh, Mindbender turquoise. And I'm probably just going to be calling it Mindbender because it's just easier. So I'm going to take the one on the right side, the larger bundle of the Mindbender, and what I want to do is I'm going to you can pick up these two horizontal mind bender cords and you're going to just go around those two cords and then out the right. So you're just going to go over and around the two horizontal mind bender cords and then come out the right. Next I'm going to take the one on the left and I'm going to do the exact same thing but the mirror image. So I'm just going to take the larger bundle of Mind Bender, go over and around and out the left side. And for the turquoise, the solid turquoise, I'm going to crisscross those. So I'm going to take my right cord, my right bundle and I'm just going to go over that left cord just like that. Now I'm going to take the one that's on the right and I'm just going to do the same thing that I just did. I'm going to go over and around those two horizontal mind bender cords and come out the right. Take the one on the left, go over and around and out the left and then you can tighten it up. So once we have it all tightened up at the top, we can start all over again. And I tried to move in a little bit closer for you guys. So I'm going to start again on my right side and I'm going to start with the smaller bundle of Mind Bender, and I'm just going to go underneath, right up the middle, and then over that second cord. Now take your smaller bundle of Mind Bender and go underneath the cord that you just worked on the left side. Go underneath the first cord right up the middle and over that second cord. And your little triangle here. Next we're going to take the Caribbean Blue on the right side. And remember we're going to go over these two cords on the right, the loop and the cord that's coming out and you're going to go over and around and right up through that loop 
and do the same on the left side. I'm going to go over the loop and the cord that's coming out and I'm going to go around and right back up that loop on the left side. So now I'm going to find those two horizontal mind bender cords and pick up on them a little bit. Next I'm going to take my larger bundle of mind bender on my right side and I'm going to go over those two horizontal pieces and around them and out the right. Take the one on the left now. You're going to go over and around and out the left. Now you have your two um, turquoise at the top and you're going to crisscross them so I'm going to take my one on my right and I'm going to go over the one on the left and I'm always going to take the right one go over on the left and I'll keep that crisscross going the same way all the way down the collar then I'm going to take the one that's now on my right side and I'm going to go over those two horizontal pieces again around them and out the right side. Take the one on the left, go over and around and out the left side and then tighten it up. And once you have it tightened we can just start that weave all over again. So I'm going to take my smaller bundle of mind bender on my right side. I'm going to go right up the middle and then over that second cord. I'm going to take the one now on my left side of the smaller bundle and I'm going to go underneath the cord that I just worked right up the middle again and then over that second cord. Next I'm going to take my Caribbean blue and I'm going to go over the loop and then over this cord go around them and right up that loop and I'm going to do the same on the left side and I'm going to take the one on the left side and I'm going to go over the loop over that cord and then I'm going to go around those and then go right up the loop. Next I'm going to take the two horizontal mind bender pieces and I'm going to lift up on them again. I find it a little bit easier when you do lift up on these because you can just work the cord through a little bit easier. I'm going to take my mind bender larger bundle on my right side and I'm going to go over and around and then out towards the right. I'm going to take the one on the left go over and around and out the left. Next I'm going to crisscross again my two um, turquoise cords and I'm going to take the one on the right go over the one on the left and now I'm going to do the same as I just did. I'm going to go over those two horizontal pieces and around and out the right side. Take the one on the left, go over and around and out and tighten it up. I went a few more down so you had have a bigger spot to look at but this is what it's looking like so far and I'm just going to continue the same pattern all the way down the collar and when I um, get to the end. I'll show you guys how I do my tie off and what it looks like with the Biothene adapter on. Alright guys, so I'm done with my collar and I took it off the jig and now we can uh, weave in the um, cords that are coming directly out of the top part of the collar. And I'm going to start with the mind bender that is on my right side. And you have a, a really tight small gap between your work right here and your double cow stitches and you're going to go in that gap with the 
um, mind bender on the right side and also on the left side. So for the turquoise, the solid turquoise, you're going to want to keep that crisscross going um, that you have going in the middle the same way. So I'm actually going to be starting with the one on my left. Now you have a really small hole between these two cow's hitches and you're going to go in between those two cow's hitches just like that. Pull it through to the other side. Once you have that through to the other side, what you're going to want to do is you're, you're going to take the one now that is on your right side and you're just going to go over onto the left side of the cord that you just put through and that will create that crisscross all the way down. And I am going to go about a quarter of an inch up and I'm going to um, cut right there. I'm going to cut both of them. I'm going to fray them out. And then I'm going to melt them. And I misplaced my butter knife so I'm going to actually use my scissors to smush them down. So I'm, I'm going to melt them, I'm going to try and do one at a time, and then squish it down. Do the next one. Try not to let it catch on fire. I, that happens to me more than I would like, but um, yeah, try not to let it catch on fire. Do the opposite side now. Once you have this part um, complete, you can hook up your adapter to it and use it as is. But I am going to be putting some Gorilla Glue on the ends and um, kind of smearing it around just to give it some extra security. You don't have to do this, um, but I do do this with all of my collars and my leashes that I make and sell. I have never had any complaints of anything coming apart or um, breaking or getting loose or anything like that. And what I mean by breaking is that um, sometimes the melted part can snap off. I haven't had any problems with that. So I use Gorilla Non-Foaming Clear Glue. And um, I you don't need a whole bunch. I'm just going to rub that around, put it on the ends. It is waterproof, so it won't come off if your dog gets it wet. It will be a little bit, um, it will be shinier in this area and it will be uh, stiffer uh, in this um, small area. But like I said, it's just an extra security and I haven't had any complaints that I know of. Nobody's complained directly to me. Um, and I know that some pe other people have started to do this also. Uh, I'm going to let this dry. And then when I'm finished, I'll let you guys see what the finished look looks like with the biofin on.